it's Annalisa here from Making Stories and today's video is all about our soap dishes and soap holders. So you might know that we uh, carry beautiful Hey Mama Wolf wool soap bars in our shop. If you want to hear more about these babies check out the corresponding video um, that's on our channel and a wool soap in itself is well and good but you really want to keep these babies dry to keep them lasting as long as possible. And we have two products, two and a half really, uh, that help with that, that are in our web shop, uh, which you can find by the way under makingminusstories.com. Um, we have a classic soap dish and we also have something that we call a soap holder. And today I'm going to introduce both to you. Both the soap holder and the soap dish are manufactured by a lovely small business that is based in Dresden, Germany, which is about two and a half hours from where I am sitting right now, which is in Berlin. Um, it is called Toff und Zirpel and it is owned and run by a couple who works with their small team on hand producing really beautiful, natural, for the most part, organic products for um they call it the home and the bath and uh and for on the way um so they produce excellent beeswax wraps for example but they also uh, make these beautiful soap holders and soap dishes that i to be very honest completely discovered by accident and they're gorgeous i couldn't believe my eyes when i first placed a trial order and i was like yes and they're the perfect fit for our wool soap. So, um, so yeah. Before we get into that, though, I want to talk a little bit more about Toff and Söpe, the manufacturer of these or the the company behind these products, because um, they are as sustainability focused as we are, which is another uh, thing that just makes me really excited to be adding products from their lineup. Um, because you know, I just love finding other small businesses that are dedicated to doing the best that we can for this world that we live in, really. Um, and because I think, you know, like every company can say they're sustainable. I always really like sharing a little bit about what they actually do to be sustainable. So for a tough and super, it starts with the entire production process, which is uh, done by hand and locally and with a small team, all of which is really great for the local economy. Uh, they also only use natural ingredients. Um, and they're careful about uh, where they where they source them from. Uh, but for them, and that is something that I really appreciate, it goes beyond that. So it goes into the packaging. So the packaging of these beauties um, is made of grass paper and the labels are made with recycled um, with recycled paper and the ink is vegan ink, all of which are really good for for the environment. If you need packaging, that is. Um, which you kind of do for these for these beauties because they're ceramics and so it's quite good to have them in in a little box um they also um extend their sustainability practices to their shipping which is all climate neutral um and plastic free and especially the plastic free aspect i think is something that uh not every company is doing yet and it's good if you do that um they also do a couple of things in their internal processes to make them more sustainable so their electricity provider for example is only using renewable energy it's greenpeace energy um, at the time of recording this and their bank is coincidentally the same as ours gls bank which is the uh, as far as i know only ethical bank in germany which invests the money that we put into our bank accounts into ethical projects which i really appreciate so yeah finding a company like this th that is based just you know like a couple of hours from where we ship most of our products from so transport emissions are really low that uh, integrates sustainability into a lot of their work was was just really fortunate and made me very happy and what also made me happy is that the products themselves they were stunning. So, you know, the wool soaps that we carry from Hey Mama Wolf, they were, uh, they were square and um, I wanted something that, you know, kind of echoes that shape. And hello, can we just talk about how perfectly they fit on top of each other? Like, look, 
Obviously, there's a little bit of paper packaging here. But it's as if they were made for each other. Right? So these soap dishes by Toff and Soapö, they are made from unglazed ceramic. Um, I'm going to try and see if it focuses so that you can see the texture. So it's a little bit rough um, on the outside and that is intentional. So it's not glazed so that the soap doesn't slip from it when it's wet, which I think is really smart. I also just really like the feel of it. It feels very feels very organic. It's almost like the difference of a superwash wool versus a non-superwash wool. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here, I think. Um, so uh, that's one of the things that I really like about it. Also, the design is really minimal. So this is seven by seven centimeters, 2.75 inches by 2.75 inches. Uh, and the only mark that you have is the, their brand stamp on the back. Nothing else, no grooves, nothing really, which I really like as the look. It's it's super clean. It is quite heavy, so it has a nice feel to it as well. Um, and the design of it is really clever as well. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that you can see that there's a slant or slope on the surface. So here and here and here as well. Uh, which all leads to this one little ridge so that the water can flow down here and here and then accumulate here and then flow into the sink. Which I think is so clever because it just means the soap dries faster and you don't have any of that yucky, mucky, soapy stuff on the soap dish. Um, so if you put a soap on top of this, you know, it sits beautifully and you can also see that it doesn't, like it only has a couple of touch points with the soap dish. And so um, that makes it even easier and faster for the soap to dry because there's a lot of air under here, as you can see. Um, so that's good because it means the soap dries faster, so it cures faster and it also lasts longer. Yay, win-win for everyone. Um, let me look at my cheat sheet if there's anything else that I wanted to share about the soap dishes. Um, colors, we should talk about colors. So we carry them in two colorways. Those are the only two that exist at the time of recording this. Um, we have this beautiful light gray that's called Nature. And then, and I'm going to unbox this here with you. Um, Look how clever this is. When you unfold it, it just opens, opens up like this, like a little jewelry box, almost like a ring. And then we have a dark gray. That's called slate. So if you want to see them side by side. So nature and slate. Both are in the web shop as of May 17th. So if you're watching this at the time that it comes out, mark your calendars. Chances are you uh, are watching this after May 17th in the year 2022. And then these will be in the web shop. And if for whatever reason they're out of stock right now, you can leave your email address and um, yeah, then hopefully get one of these when you when you want it. Um, the the other product that we are gonna be that that we have from Toff and Soapa that is related to soap care is soap care a thing? I think soap care is a thing now. Um, is something for the ones who want to have something that's a bit more portable. So you know, if you're traveling a lot or if you're like, ah, oh, this is not really my thing, but I still want to have something to uh, to help my wool soap dry, um, then we also have something for you, which is a clever little soap holder. So let me demonstrate this for you. Works exactly the same as a soap dish. You just put the soap on top and let it dry, you know? No. Yeah. What is clever about this is that you can super easily dismantle it. So it's just two pieces. Whoop. Hello. These two pieces of wood. 
that if you put them together, form this beautiful little soap holder that you can also, if you have soaps of different, of different sizes, you can just turn it around, right? And use the other side. So, so yeah. So uh, really cool, really lightweight, made out of FSC certified wood that's called vinegar wood because it's been treated with, and now I have to look at my cheat sheet, um, natural acetic acid without any harmful substances. So it's a type of acid that helps make the, um, make the wood, uh, water, waterproof or at least water resistant, which is important because otherwise if you put like soap and wet soap at that on water, it gets icky really quickly. So this doesn't do that, but it's also not treated with any, with any bad chemicals and it's not lacquered or anything. Um, it comes in these cute little parcels um, with instructions on how to build it up. And I really like them as an alternative. I also think, you know, if you like going camping, for example, or if you're traveling a lot and you only use, you know, soap bars, um, then one of these would be great because they can just fit into, you know, any cosmetics bag um, and you can just, you can just use them anywhere, really. So yeah, um, soap dish, soap holder, both by Toff and Soppe, made here in Germany out of all natural ingredients. Perfect fit for our Hey Mama Wolf wool soaps and available in our webshop now, makingminestories.com. If you have any questions around these, just comment down below. Super happy to help at any time. See you soon. Bye.